11 year old girl is shot and wounded while sitting in her bedroom. It appears the bullet came from violence on the street in front of her home. Fox 2's Rocky Madden is live downtown where we spoke with neighbors and a community leader. Rocky. Well, Mike, people are fed up. They want something done. Another innocent child wounded in our community again. From Bomberito Automotive Sky Fox, you can see the child lifted into the waiting ambulance. Just after 430 Wednesday, the street was littered with shell casings, each with an evidence marker next to it. No one who lives in this area told me this is usually a quiet and peaceful neighborhood. They said just the opposite. They shoot every day, all day, and I'm talking about Uzi guns. They, I'm, you know, it just don't make no sense. One man told me a few blocks away he saw two speeding cars turned onto Garrison, and moments later he heard a lot of gunshots. She's very innocent. That's a young child. That's a young child. He said the girl was alert and calling for her mom when she was loaded into the ambulance. It appears a bullet from all the shooting in the street went into the girl's second story bedroom and hit her in the arm. It just don't make no sense. They don't care about people's life no more. Just... And all these uh, so-called elected officials, you know, you can talk the talk, but you don't walk the walk. And you don't walk the neighborhoods and talk to the people. One woman said there were 50 shots. A car ended up on a curb and was examined closely by crime scene investigators. The Urban League's James Clark showed up. He lived in the neighborhood when he was a kid. What happened to the girl is upsetting to him and so many others. Hurt, frustration um, that we continue to see uh, the crime and violence that continues to explode. He says there have been enough studies, enough thinking. It's time to get hands on and fund the fight against violence. We just can't be, continue to sit idly by and watch our neighborhood spiral out of control. We got too many Harvard graduates out there. We just need somebody with some damn common sense. I tried to get some more information from, from police officers on the scene. They said they were just too busy to talk. Reporting live here in downtown St. Louis, Rocky Madden, Fox 2 News.